Hello, and welcome to Encouraging Leadership, conversations that mobilize today's women leaders with your host, Ann Miner. Meet leaders who share their observations, knowledge, insight, and perspectives to mobilize you to apply your own leadership in business and in life. Here's your host, Ann Miner. Well, welcome to Encouraging Leadership, conversations to mobilize today's women leaders. I have with me Teresa Sims today, and Teresa is a former human resources professional and office manager, but she has now refined her goals as an entrepreneur and author. As a student of the Acacia Institute's Aspiring Leaders Program, Teresa is stepping into her future as an author, leader, and coach. She is living proof that with courage, determination, and a strong belief, you can gift yourself a brilliant future. Teresa, welcome. Thank you very much, Anne, for having me. It's a very great pleasure to be here with you. It's a great pleasure to have you with us, Teresa, and I am so looking forward to having you share with our listeners your advice and guidance. Why don't you start off with telling us about the events that have led you to where you are today? Thank you. Uh, Back in my younger years, I had several jobs, as you want to call them. I had gone from hairdressing to accounting and payroll to elementary school secretary. There was nothing really concrete and nothing that really fulfilled me as a person. So in 2005, I had made some changes in my life, some major changes, and went to college and got my diploma in business majoring in human resources. And before I was actually finished the diploma program, I was hired by a large corporation um, to work in their training and development area of their company. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, However, a year after that, um, on my way home, I had a very severe car accident. And it was a near-death experience. And it actually caused me to take a major look at my life. And something like that normally does cause you to take a step back and reevaluate everything. So because of that accident, I lost my job. And because of the injuries, I was told by many doctors that my working career was over. So that must have been just awful. Just awful. It was devastating for me because I'm not the type of person that gives up. I, I gives up, give up, excuse me, is not in my vocabulary usually. So I, I was faced with this bleak future and all these injuries and, you know, it was just, I wasn't, didn't know where to go at that point. So I knew I wanted more from my life and I knew that I had a great deal to offer. So in working with a physiotherapist um, from, from the accident, she encouraged me to help others that were suffering in the same way I was. She said, you know, you can help motivate them, you can help talk to them, help encourage them, help them see that there's more. And that's one of my major goals um, in my future. It's one of my planned goals to start a support group and to help others in dealing with the trauma of surviving. So um, uh, that's actually where where I'm headed and um, I really I you know I'm a member of the Canadian Pain Coalition and a member of the Canadian Arthritis Society so I'm going to use those um, corporations and those the information and start helping people locally and globally if I can. Well that's a very um ambitious goal, particularly when you have those challenges to deal with yourself. So what else in your life stimulated you to take that step, Teresa? 
Uh, I think it was just the internal drive that I have. And I had cared for my grandmother who was in her late 80s. Um, I cared for her for the last 10 years of her life. And that woman was the most miraculous person I have ever met. She had such drive. She had such strength to overcome the odds that she had dealt with. And I know that 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 strength is in me as well. And, you know, I've had some other very kind and very good people in my life that have helped um, guide me and help talk things over with me and have helped me to actually realize what my gifts are and what I can offer. So there's been some influential people in my life as well. And that's a really important point, isn't it? To have people who believe in you and support you and show you what's possible. Absolutely. Very important. Well, you've started on a path as an entrepreneur. And I would love to know what three things you feel have contributed to your growth as an entrepreneur. Well, first of all, I think um, understanding who I am understanding what accepting the gifts and the talents that I have and for me that was a very difficult thing to accept because of you know past life experiences where basically a human being almost but now I've come into that spot in my life where I've accepted the gifts of intuitiveness. I've accepted the gifts of compassion. And I accept the gifts of all the life experience that I, experiences I've been given. And that's the main thing that I needed to do is accept me first. And then I can step into helping others. And the second thing I like to do is surround myself with other successful people and other people through networking events, through speaking engagements, through just business contacts that um, are influential and, and have something to share and something to offer. And I can learn from those people. And it's important for me to have good mentors in my life. Um, I have two or three actually incredible mentors in my life right now. And they have they are a wealth of knowledge and their wealth of experience and just talking with them and sharing with them and learning from them is incredible i think everyone needs to have at least one mentor and everyone needs to mentor someone else so and the third thing is recognizing when i need to change directions in my my goals or my path uh, I, I need to take a step back, think, reevaluate, and trust in what my heart and my, my mind is telling me. And just to keep an open mind and to explore other avenues. Never say the door is closed because that's a, a loss as far as I'm concerned. Well, that is certainly a really important ability to be able to course correct, to accept that the plan that you had, well, you know, you when you try new roads or pathways or new activities, you may not get it right the first time. And that's not a failure. You have succeeded in learning that that's not the path. And now it's time to make a correction and go a different way. And certainly being able to accept the necessity of adjusting your course is a stepping stone for success. Absolutely. Sorry. Go ahead. I was also going to say, Teresa, that I wanted to talk further about mentorship because this is a topic that I think is really important for women that somehow and I know I certainly suffered from this myself, an inability to ask others for help. That I thought I should be able to do everything on my own and I should know everything or at least know where to find it. So tell us about how you 
establish relationships with your mentors? Um, a lot of them that I have now are, I have one exceptional coach that I'm working with through an authorship program. And he is one of my mentors as well. So um, he, he's a trusted advisor in writing and in the direction that I'm going in my future career. Uh, but also through working with others, uh, working through the, the courses of the Acacia Institute have actually been a great benefit to me because in that institution in that in that learning you're connected with others mm -hmm. so are those others mentors uh, or peers or how does that work well they are peers but at the same time they're business people in their own right so you could connect with them as mentors as well and together we can help each other but also through um, other connections that I've had through um, another radio show, La Femme Total, I've made some wonderful connections with some guests who are um, magazine owners, um, psychologists, business people, uh, business leaders, professional speakers. Those are the people that I've connected with and they have gifted me their time and their abilities as my mentors whenever I need some support from them. So it was a very different thing for me to ask for help, but it's something that we all need to do because we all need help at some point. We absolutely do. And I think probably another piece of that mentorship equation is for all of us to offer it doesn't mean everybody we offer will take us up on it, but each and every person that I've encountered in my life has a life experience with some elements different than my own and potentially can provide me with some insight or share what worked, what didn't work, and we can benefit one another by being co-mentors, if you like. Yes, exactly. I think that's very important because just connecting with other women, just connecting with other people, listening to them, talking with them, learning about their experiences, they have something to share just as we have something to share. And if we can learn from each other, then we are mentoring each other. Right. Well, tell me, what's, what's your plan for the future, Teresa? I know, well, maybe we should take a, a step back for a sec. You are writing a book. I am. Are you open to give us a little sneak preview of what that book will be about and how you plan to move forward with it? Yes, thank you, Anne. My book is called A Century of Secrets, and it is based on true life stories, uh, but it is actually a work of fiction because it's a multi-generational story of how one's family, one family struggle with abuse, personal identity, and deep-seated family secrets has caused suicide, alcoholism, and lasting family scars. And this book is my journey to uncover the lies, overcome adversity, and to finally set my soul free to be the human being and the woman that I deserve to be. Well, and I, I am familiar with a part of the story. When do you think we will be able to get our own copies of A Century of Secrets? Well, we're looking at the date of June 16th. So it should be oh, up on Amazon. Right up. Pardon me? It's coming right up. It is, yes. It should be up on Amazon on June 16th. And uh, it, it has been the most liberating and healing thing I have ever done in my life. It has been a lifelong goal of mine to write, and I, I accomplished that goal, and I, I am so pleased with myself. Oh, and so you should be. Congratulations. That Thank is you. an enormous undertaking. I say that from experience, <laughs> and I know that there was a lot of emotion that went along with writing the story and 
I think we all will have an extra level of admiration for you once we've had an opportunity to, to read the story. So what is your plan forward? My plan forward is to, uh, once I have my book launched on June 16th, on June 23rd, I start my personal development certification, certification coaching program. So another dream of mine is to help others. And it has been a lifelong goal as well. So I am going to become a certified personal development coach and put those talents and my life experience into helping other people heal their pasts and their, their scars and help them to live a fulfilled life. Now, what audience will you focus on? I would like to focus on women in particular, young girls for one, young teenage girls, even younger if possible, uh, to help them with uh, image issues because image issues are a terrible thing, ter having terrible tragic side effects today. Uh, uh, so many suicides, so many girls that are having difficulty with eating disorders. Uh, you know, peer pressure is causing such tremendous pain to these girls and I think they need to know that it's okay they don't have to be like everyone else and that's one of my target areas is to go into the high schools and talk to girls start a center talk to girls let them know that it's okay they don't have to be perfect and the other area that I wanted to focus on is older women uh, you know for example I'm in my later part of my career, but at the same time, I'm starting new again. And that is the other issue for women that have felt they have been um, unable to, for whatever reasons, fulfill their dreams and their goals. So I would like to work with them and let them know that they can be, you know, they can, they can use their talents to gift others. They can gift themselves finally and step into a bright future on their own. Well, that is quite a remarkable approach, kind of the two prongs of the young women who need to be supported as they develop their confidence and develop their own unique potential and skills and the confidence in those gifts, just as you developed. Mm -hmm. And then the later in life audience who have not necessarily been supported throughout their entire life and are now wanting to do something to bring their own you know, abilities, skills, gifts and apply them with purpose so that the, the remainder of their life will be an expression of the gifts that they were intended to bring to the world and that they can step forward with confidence. Yes, absolutely. That's that's my main, my two main uh, areas of focus. I also have another passion that I have started a Facebook page, and it is called Fits F I T S, which is Friends in Trauma Support. And for me, it's very important because of suffering the traumas of my childhood and then the car accident. Um, those are sometimes traumas that can affect you in so many different ways that you just don't understand and you can't recognize, but something is holding you back. And it could be the traumas of those events. So I, you know, personally would like to help others dealing with those traumas, those post-traumatic stress disorder or, you know, suffering abuse as a child or living with someone who suffered from depression or, you know, anything along that line. Um, that, that is another one of my, as my aspects that I want to focus on. Well, and of course, seeing others who have been able to overcome or push past whatever those obstacles were is inspiring for those around you, isn't it? It is, and, and I have a friend that is suffering greatly from post-traumatic stress disorder, and her phrase is to power through it. 
And I think that's exactly what it should be. It's not to cope with it. It's not to live with it. It's to power through it and go beyond. Oh, I love that. That is such a great expression. And it certainly gives a different flavor to what we need to find within us in order to continue to, you know, advance and achieve despite whatever has gone in our lives before. And I know you're, you're looking at people who've had significant trauma and perhaps injuries as well as post-traumatic stress. There are those, though, who, who've been traumatized in ways that are they're not visible, they're not significant events. They may have been just a moment in their lives when someone that was influential said something to them that absolutely scarred their soul. And certainly I've come across those people who can only, they can, you know, sort of approach the starting line and then fear overtakes them. So I would think that those people would also be candidates to join your Facebook group. Would you agree? I definitely agree, and because I, I am that person. I am every one of those people. And I've finally come to the point in my life where I am powering through it all. And nothing is going to stand in my way again. So if, if I can do it, you know, at my age and come through with all the injuries and, and you know, some quite severe ones, we can all have everything we want we just have to have the drive the help and the determination to get there and that's my life path is to help and you know that is just absolutely admirable and we need more women more people with your devotion Teresa now we're coming to you know uh, kind of the end of our show here and I'm wondering if you would like to leave our listeners with a message or some very specific guidelines to help them move forward, to help them mobilize their own skills, talents, abilities, and gifts. I would love to. I found this morning I was looking through um, some emails and I found a quote from Joe Vitale, who is the uh, multiple author and author of hypnotic writing. But his quote is, the more successful you are, the happier you are. The healthier you are, the more you can learn in this world. Dare something worthy right now. And I think that's, yeah. Would you, would you read that to us again, Teresa? I think that is just so wonderfully powerful and inspiring certainly the more successful you are the happier you are the healthier you are the more you can make a difference in this world dare something worthy right now and that's from joe vitale and listeners from joe vitale from Teresa sims and from your host ann minor Dare something bold, be courageous, step forward, take the lead. We need more leaders in this world. We need people with courage to share what they've learned, share their questions. So much can be learned from asking questions of others. Mentor one another, support one another, and in fact, champion others into opportunities where they can apply their highest and best talents. Teresa, as a, you know, a new and budding best-selling author and soon-to-be life coach, I so appreciate you spending this time with us today and sharing your insights and wisdom. And I do hope that you'll consider returning and we can talk about your experience once you are an author. Do you think that we could we could look forward to a day when that could happen? Oh, absolutely, and I would love to share it with you and your audience. If anyone in the audience was interested in talking with you further or following up with you, 
what would be the best way to connect? They can connect with me through email, which is Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A, at Sims, S-Y-M-S, Solutions, S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S, dot com. Or they can find me on Facebook as well. Okay, well, let me just repeat that email for our listeners. Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A, at Sims, S-Y-M-S, Solutions, S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S, dot com. And they can find you on Facebook. And Teresa, remind us the name of the Facebook group that you've set up. It's entitled FITS, F-I-T-S, Friends in Trauma Support. Okay, so that's another way. And please also remind our listeners the title of your book and the date it'll be available. It's A Century of Secrets, and it will be available June 16th on Amazon.com. And it's written by Teresa Sims, right? Yes, Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Now, listeners, you probably heard that Teresa is one of the students at the Acacia Institute. And if you are interested in learning more about the programs, the leadership development, and most specifically the Aspiring Leaders Program, please take a look at the programs on our website at Acacia, that's A-C-A-C-I-A, Institute, I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E dot com. And you'll see how we are building exceptional women leaders for 21st century organizations. Thank you for being with us today. We do hope that you will join us every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for listening to Encouraging Leadership. To learn more about our host, Ann Miner, and the Acacia Institute, please visit acaciainstitute.com. Join us next week at the same time, 1 p.m. Eastern, for more Encouraging Leadership. In the meantime, be courageous. Be courageous.